namo atassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo atassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo atassa bhagavato arahato Samma Sambhutasa Close your eyes and put your mind into your body. Feel the inside of your body. Just search around a bit. that you're exploring an old mansion. Check in. How does your body feel? Where is the pleasure? Where is the pain? Where is the neutral feeling? What does your body feel in parts? Does the left hand side feel different to the right hand side? Does the head feel different to the neck? The trunk feel different to the legs? Explore, investigate. Generate the attitude that you're getting to know an old friend after a long absence. There's a sense of compassion and a sense of curiosity. Now, set your body up straight. Work with your posture. Adopt a posture which is energetic with virya, a heroic stance. But make sure you keep breathing, that you keep in the flow between four and six, even as you adopt that very strong position. A combination of hard and soft, of yin and yang. Now bring your attention to your hands. Feel your hands very deeply and then start to open and close them, keeping the flow of tension inside your hands between four and six on the tension scale, getting a feel for what it's like to be in the middle, not rearing to the extremes. Not between zero and three, nor seven to ten, but consciously and deliberately balancing and flowing between four and six. Now note that your mind, your attention, your awareness is always split into two parts. Your central awareness and your peripheral awareness.
We use this all the time when we're driving. We put the center of our awareness on the road and the peripheral awareness on everything around the car. By using these two awarenesses together, that we make driving a safe exercise. Now put the center of your awareness on your head, on all the muscles on your face and on your scalp, while leaving your peripheral awareness on your whole body, knowing both of those things all at once. Now deliberately use the muscles on your face and on your scalp so that they are always moving between four and six. Perhaps putting on a gentle smile, the smile on the face of a Buddha. Now thinking about someone for whom you have great and deep gratitude, perhaps the Buddha, or your parents, or a teacher, or a friend who is a mentor, or anybody else for whom you feel a great and deep feeling of gratitude. Imagine that they're sitting right in front of you, meditating with you, supporting you in your meditation. Note how by imagining this person and generating that gratitude, the smile on your face feels joyful from the inside and it's easier to flow between four and six with the muscles on your face. So keep the image of the person you have gratitude for in your mind as we move through the rest of your body. Move the centre of awareness to the feelings of the muscles inside your neck. While putting the peripheral awareness on the rest of your body so that you can maintain your posture and your breath properly. And deliberately keep the muscles in your neck between four and six. Moving up towards six as you breathe out, breathe in, and towards four as you breathe out. Maintaining inside the mind's eye, the imagination, the image of the person that you have gratitude for before you. Now move the center of your awareness to the whole of your left arm and flow between four and six there. Now move the centre of your awareness to your right arm and flow between four and six there.
Now put the center of your awareness on your chest. Front and back. And flow between four and six down. Now move your awareness to your belly and lower back. Everything below the chest but above the waist. Low between four and six there. Now bring your central awareness down to your pelvic floor and to your bottom muscles and flow between four and six there. Now move the centre of your awareness to your left thigh and flow between four and six there. Remembering to generate the image of the person for whom you have gratitude. And bring the centre of your awareness to your right thigh and flow between four and six there. Move the centre of your awareness to your left lower leg and flow between four and six there. Now move your awareness to your lower right leg and flow between four and six there.
Now bring the centre of your awareness to your left foot and flow between four and six there. Now bring the centre of your awareness to your right foot and flow between four and six there. Now make the centre of your awareness cover your entire body so that the centre and the periphery of your awareness are overlapping over your whole body. Feeling the whole body at once, feeling the whole body as deeply as possible at once, and controlling the whole body at once, flowing between four and six. Moving towards six as you breathe in and towards four as you breathe out. Keep your awareness steady over your whole body and at the same time generate the image, the memory of the person who you have gratitude for. and deepen the feeling of gratitude inside the whole body. to stop your mind from wandering around with random chatter. With every in-breath, just think of the name of the person that you have gratitude for. For example, breathing in, Buddha. Breathing out, Buddha. Tying the thoughts to the image of the person as well as their name. In other words, making the mind and the whole body flow between four and six inside the feeling of gratitude. See if you can maintain this harmonious and coordinated activity for another three minutes. Always bringing the mind and body back to the task at hand.
Stay focused on the task. Coordinate body and mind and breath. Stay focused for 10 more breaths. Now slowly open your eyes, resolving to bring the sense of peace, happiness and gratitude that you've developed here into the rest of your day. Sambe Sakta Bhavan Tinsukitaka May all beings be happy. Sadhu Sadhu Oh.